contrary to the notion that Abuja is for the rich only, I'll say Abuja is actually for everybody. That one is because Nepal people are crazy. Am I communicating? Oh my god. I don't recognize it. All I can see the shades of you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing this pretty face for the first time, my name is Warfi and watching Shades of Warfi. Please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's completely free to subscribe and join this amazing family. And if you're a returning subscriber, if you're a family member, hey love! Thanks for coming back. Thanks for clicking on this video. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the cost of living in Abuja. Disclaimer, this is based on my experience staying in Abuja for two years plus now and also like from people's contributions and um, opinions basically so you don't have to agree with whatever it is I say. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be talking about five things majorly in this video and that is food, one is food, second is housing or shelter third thing is transportation fourth thing is chilling that's the whole phone and outside and all of that then i'm talking about general expenses so yeah if, if this is something you would like to know about then please keep watching okay guys so um bear it in mind that the cost of living in abuja in any way generally is totally like 80 percent dependent on the lifestyle of the individual living in that particular location and the type of person you are yeah so to speak so yeah first of i'm going to start with i'm going to start with transportation in discussing this point i'm going to be comparing abuja and lagos and that's because abuja is a big city lagos is also a big city the cost of transportation in abuja personally i would say is very 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 affordable very affordable in the sense that some places you, you have access to bikes some places you have access to a um, tricycle some places you have access to most places you have access to the green and regular taxi and then there are just places that you'd have to use a cab or use boat use uber and all of that so most of the places you can go to in abuja or people go to in abuja there's an along like there's you can always get along there that you might need to take one two or three drops but then you can always get along there so most times why people use boats or use um uber aside from the whole class thing is for comfort and then maybe you're going to a place you don't know so the cost of transportation in abuja is very affordable it's not on the high side as compared to lagos okay so there was this time i went to lagos and from the airport nikeja to where i was going to that is um vi i spent a total of i think seven thousand nine hundred or eight thousand nine hundred or there about like that was how much i spent there was no traffic but i don't know somehow it was just really expensive but in abuja the highest i've spent on a, on boats from the airport to wherever i was going to or from my house to the airport is four thousand five that's the most I've spent, 4,005. And within Abuja, you can always, you can enter boat for as low as 500 in Abuja. As low as 400, if you don't have a discount, as low as 300 in Abuja, you can enter boat. But I'm really not sure that is possible with Lagos because aside from traffic, I feel like um, the roads in Abuja are more spacious, that's one. And then you have more than one route to wherever you're going to. Another instance, from my house to my office, if I'm using alone, I spend maximum of them um, 250. If I'm not taking along, if I decide to take a cab, the most I spend is um four four hundred, right? The most I spend is yeah four hundred. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is food. Food in Abuja is I'll say like every other place, it's in between. There are some things that are very affordable here and there are some things that are very expensive here. But there are some markets you go to in Abuja where you can buy what you buy in um, the regular markets for a thousand naira. You'll see it for 
500 or 600 for food it depends on the location you are it depends on the market you're going to it depends on where you are basically so food is i would say it's expensive in some markets and then it's cheap in some markets so it depends on the market you're going to okay next thing i'm going to be talking about is housing or shelter i would say um i would say rent in in abuja is actually relative also it depends on the location so personally i think for a place like abuja i feel um the amount i hear some people paying for rent i feel abuja is actually cheap when it comes to housing not as cheap as calabar actually because there was this time I, I i saw a post on facebook or something like that about a house that i think it was a two-bedroom flat or something and it was 300 or 350 and it was really big and i'm like you can, i'm not sure okay actually you can see a house again it depends on the, the areas you're looking at for instance um a self-contained you can get a self-contained in will say for 600 650 500 but then if you go to a place like maybe karu um kubwa let's, let's just say karu you, you will get a self-contained maybe bigger than the one in will say for 150 200 250 so it depends on the area also so like i said from the beginning of the video like i said from the beginning of the video the cost of living is to an extent dependent on the lifestyle of the person that is living in that particular place personally when i was looking for a house i was looking for a new house i had what i wanted in my head like pop this one that one but some other person might not mind an old house uh, a house with normal ceiling but generally I, I would say housing in abuja is not expensive so it depends on where you're looking for the house and depends on the kind of house you're looking for okay so next i'm going to talk about party chilling outing and all of that so um a friend visited abuja for the first time from lagos and then when we went out together to a particular place like everything we ate and drank amounted to i think i think it was nine thousand plus and she was so surprised because she's like this type of place in lagos all these things we bought there's no way we would pay nine thousand like it's definitely exceed nine thousand plus like if you're going out in lagos aside your uber money and all of that like you have to hold a lot of money but i would say it's not like that in abuja for instance in abuja myself and my cousins have gone out to eat before and individually we spent like three thousand plus so i would say actually in Abu abuja is not so expensive again it depends on the place you're going to but there's like a place for everybody's pocket and the fact that it's it's um, cheap doesn't mean the place is not a standard this doesn't mean the place is not beautiful it doesn't mean you can't get good food or you won't get what you want like you can afford to go out every weekend in abuja on a project and you won't spend so much am i communicating yeah you won't spend so much so um with five thousand naira you can chill comfortably in a nice place in abuja like maybe get food and get cocktail or mocktail or something for someone like me whenever i go out i always like to have chicken wings and chips so chicken wings and chi barbecue wings um honey glazed wings whatever at all whatever kind of wings at all I want to get i can get that and still get a glass of cocktail or mocktail and spend just five thousand naira. if you're going outside to drink beer or something you can spend like one thousand or five hundred but personally when i go out to chill i don't go out to eat to be satisfied i go out to eat because i want to eat something other than my food made at home other things include utility bills um clothing health care and daily expenses and utility bills are standard for instance in my apartment i pay one five for water bill and then um i don't use prepaid meter i use postpaid i use estimated meter so i pay um at times five thousand plus and that one is because nepa people are crazy so i'm going to excuse them for that then clothing you can get cheap clothing in 
Abuja, like if you're if you're someone that wears thrifted clothing, we have very good markets where they sell thrifted pieces that are really really nice. And if you want new pieces, UK UK wears and all of that, you can find them at very affordable rates. And then daily expenses. I'll say generally Abuja is very affordable to live in. Contrary to the notion that Abuja is for the rich only, I'll say Abuja is actually for everybody. Abuja can accommodate the rich, the poor, the um, medium level and all of that. So yeah, that's my opinion. So I've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a huge thumbs up and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join this amazing family. Please also turn on your post notifications whenever I post a new video to get notified and stay subscribed to stay blessed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!